This is KITV4 News at 6. The story of the famed 100th Infantry Battalion and 442nd Regiment Combat Team has been told before, but never quite like this. Yes, this, this new comic book illustrates the heroics of the mostly Japanese-American unit that fought in Europe during World War II while fighting racism at home. KITV4's Jill Kermoto has the story. History speaks for itself of the bravery and determination of the 100th Infantry Battalion and 442nd Regimental Combat Team, which fought enemy forces during World War II. Now, history will speak to members of a younger generation in a way they can relate. I think it looks, I think it comes through. Damon Wong is the illustrator behind the comic book. The young Japanese-American soldiers, many from Hawaii, are cute, lovable-looking characters. But the story of their service and sacrifice is real. When the violence happens to these little characters, you do feel bad for them, too. Of course, one of the biggest challenges is telling the story realistically, but not getting too graphic for kids. If we have cute characters, it kind of softens the story a little bit, but it's, it's still you know, telling an important story. Did you see Palaka? <laughs> the real-life heroes weighed in on the book. I think I look like that, you know, a character, a real, real character. 442nd veteran Eddie Yamasaki, seen here in glasses, is just one of the members of iCompany, who is proud to be a part of this project, a comic book that will be distributed to schools statewide. Hopefully they're touched by it and a lesson is learned. I'm very excited to see the final product, I think everybody is, so it is very creative and uh, just very well done. The project has taken three years to finally come to this. And the final chapter for many of these aging soldiers is quickly coming to an end, upping the urgency to print the book. In the span of the time that we've started working on this, we've lost so many veterans. The first copies of the comic book are expected to be available on October 6th. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News. The official launch party is tomorrow afternoon at the Pacific Guardian Center Courtyard. You'll be able to buy copies and have them autographed by the real heroes themselves.